two hours so that goes right. <laughs> oh, yeah. experience here in Mexico since we got here the people here received us with so much love to the team that joined us to plan for the conference they were amazing the conference itself was such a great success I mean I just I just bless God for what he did he really did come through it has been a whole year of planning for this conference and I tell you it has not it wasn't in vain the planning oh my goodness yeah <laughs> it's so windy out here and I'm trying to rock this sombrero and say what out here and I'm trying to rock this sombrero and it's not it doesn't fit perfectly <laughs> and the wind wants to blow it off anyway so if you're wondering why I'm putting the reason I'm putting this on is because I'm on a ranch and I came here with my friend Annie she has a horse here and I'm gonna be riding her horse today and if you know me I love horses and it's always been my dream to have this ranch full of horses so I'm kind of feeling like I'm in my fantasy world right now <laughs> i'm about to ride the horse and just this environment is beautiful so i hope i'm going to be doing more of these videos because i want to share with you guys my experience here in mexico and most especially in this beautiful city of agoscalente that i am falling in love with each and every day the people here are amazing the food oh my goodness everything is just awesome lovely it's beautiful and I hope I'm going to be able to do this. I want to share with you guys this experience so you can get to know how it is to be here. I also want to be sharing with you guys the challenges that I'm facing. They are mega ones. And I hope you're going to enjoy this ride with me. All right. Come along. Um, for the time that I'm going to be in Mexico, I'm going to show you guys uh, stuff about Mexico. And most especially the food here. They have really good food and they've got variety of food. So I'm just having my lunch. So I wanted to show you one of the things I'm having. So like you see, this looks like sort of a soup. So in this soup, we have maize. To me, this is more like motokoi <laughs> and stripes of pork. So they call this pozole. This is pozole. It's a very traditional Mexican meal. And when you're having pozole, you can have it with tostadas. So tostadas is, uh, this is tostadas, it's like crispy, crispy what? Just a crispy bread or something. Yeah, so you have uh, tos you have pozole with tostadas, and tostadas is very common here. If you go to a restaurant, just before they serve you a meal, they're going to give you the tostadas and with some sauce. Like my favorite is this, they call it, I don't know if you can see it very well, my lighting is so bad. This is... Uh, guacamole now this is my favorite it's just avocado um and some chili blended and it's always served when it's cold it's very nice and if you go to have a meal in if you're having a meal in mexico the most popular drink they will offer you is this this is the most popular soda coca-cola very popular in this place and then any other drink they have they call it water for made of different types of uh fruits i'm gonna show you that on another video when i get a chance to have that as my drink yeah and i'm having my coffee because it's really cold so i'm not gonna have that cock okay and also before i go i want to share with you a meal that um someone else is having it's not what i'm having here pork is very common in this place this is a uh, pork it's the the part the fruit of the pork <laughs> so very fatty and uh, she's having it with some veggies some lettuce on it and she's spicing it up with some lemon yeah Chile. so what do you call this what this is in Same. spanish uh, pata de puerco pata de puerco pata. so you, Chile. you also eat it with uh, guacamole and uh, tostas, tostadas yeah mucho chile. mucho chile and you can put a lot of chili when you want to have it mucho chile means a lot of chili yeah
So he's in the Vibanda za Mindy Choma. Right guys, so I'm at a Chaska's joint. Mindy Choma, Mindy Mutungo. So this is how they do it. They call it Chaska's. So this is boiled maize. Uh, in chili, mayonnaise, and some ginger, very nice. Yeah, these are mindy. That's um, maize, well maize, you're gonna chili. You're gonna have any mochunga, any mochoma. This is it here. I love the You come and put squeeze some lemon in there. And this is some spice, some more chili. And enjoy your chaskas. Mm. Then we taste. Mm. Mm. Super chido. Awesome. I just came from the ranch, so I wanna, I'm having dinner. And for today, I'm gonna be having tacos and burritos. Just for the sake of this video, I wanna, as I promise, I wanna show you guys different types of food in Mexico, so that you can have an idea of how it is to, you know, eat here. So I'm gonna be showing you different types of tacos, different types of tacos. So what is this tacos de what? Tacos de bistec. Tacos del suadero. El suadero is beef. El suadero is beef. Bistec is beef? Yes. Pastor? Pastor is beef. It's pork. Pork. Alright. One quarter of chata drink. Drink tortilla and guacamole. Tortilla and guacamole. Taco. A tacos is tacos de what? Pastor. Tacos de pastor. Wow. Very good. Okay, so for me, this is my plate. I'm having burritos. So this is how burritos look like. Burritos, the bistec. It's got cheese inside. That's the difference. You see, it's like a, it's like a roll. App. It's got. Let me see. It's got beef inside and cheese. I hope I like it. This is my first time having this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, it's like, uh, all right. And her kiwi water. What are you having? Huh? What are you having? This one? I don't know his name. This one? I don't know his name. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. This one? I don't know his name. Ramen. 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 This is pork, egg, eggs, and a. Moro, okay? Noodles. Pasta. So panisi. So panisi. Let's cake, however, however, however you want, you want you put the wasabi and then you put the soy sauce inside and then what you're going to do, you're going to mix it and when it's everything is blended, everything's mixed well, you put some of this in here and it tastes good. But let me warn you, if you put too much wasabi, it's going to clear your nostrils because it's really like strong. It's a strong flavor. So you want to first grab it like if you're grabbing a pencil. And then what you do? So you're going to use your middle finger. Like this. Like cross. Like that. Oh, okay. And then you take it directly to the airport? No, we're going to go to the airport. This thing is going to go to the airport. Wait, let me see how you do it. Okay, so she does it different. So this is the best. Wait, 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 this is the best